Okay, for this question, a 10 milliliter sample of sodium chloride solution requires 10.8 milliliters of 0.834 moles per liter of potassium permanganate solution to reach the equivalence point for its oxidation to aqueous chlorine to acidic solution, calculate the concentration of chloride ions in the original solution. <clears throat> so the very first step is we need to identify all our oxidizing agents and our, all our reducing agents. So we're given a sodium chloride, so we have Na, Na plus 1, and we have chloride, and we're given potassium permanganate, so we have K plus, and MnO4 minus. It's an acidic solution, so we require the hydrogen ion, and also water. And we need to identify um, all the oxidizing agents using our, um, what is it, electric potential. So Na is our OA, oxidizing agents. Chloride is a reducing agent. Potassium is an oxidizing agent. Permagnate with, paired with hydrogen, is an oxidizing agent. Hydrogen by itself, hydrogen ion by itself is an oxidizing agent, and water is an oxidizing agent. And water is also a reducing agent. So by looking at the chart, we know that the permagnate paired with hydrogen ion is our strongest oxidizing agent. And here's one of the exceptions. When you have chloride containing an ionic compound, well, like with sodium chloride, and we have water, Chloride ions becomes our strongest re reducing agent according to the chloride exception rule. So now we'll write the half reactions. So it's going to give us uh, MnO4 minus plus 8 hydrogen ions plus 5 electrons. And on the product side, we have Mn. 2 plus plus 4H2O. And for the for our uh, reducing half reaction, sorry, our uh, ox oxidization half reaction, we have Cl minus which gives us Cl2 plus 2 electrons. Now we need to balance out the electrons so that we can add these two reactions. So we multiply that half reaction by 5 to make 10 electrons, and we multiply the first half reaction by 2, so we also have 10 electrons. And when we add them all together, we'll end up getting 2MnO4 minus plus 16 hydrogen ions plus 10 chloride ions, which gives us 5 chlorine plus 2 Mn2 plus plus 8 hydrogen ions. And before I um, continue with the actual stoichiometry of this problem, I'm going to write the ionizing equation for potassium permanganate because we do need to get the mole ratio when we do start doing our stoichiometry for this problem. So we have potassium permanganate, KMnO4, which will ionize in water as K plus plus MnO4 minus MnO4 minus 1. So now what we're given is we're given 10.8 milliliters of 0.0834 mole per liter of potassium permanganate. So we can determine the moles of potassium permanganate by multiplying volume by concentration. So 0.0108 liters multiplied by 0 0.0, oops, 0.0834 moles over liters of potassium permanganate. And then for one, and what we want to do is we want to determine the moles of permanganate so that we can 
use our uh, redox reaction to, to go from permanganate to chloride ion. So we're going to do the mole ratio from potassium permanganate to permanganate. So for every one mole of potassium permanganate, we require four moles of permanganate ions. Then now, using our redox half reaction, for every two moles of permanganate, we require 10 moles of chloride ions. And then finally, to get our concentration of the chloride ions, we need to divide it by the given volume of chloride, which is 10 milliliters, so that's going to be 0 .0 0 0.010 liters of chloride. So as you can see, the units are going to cancel out. The moles of permanganate is going to cancel out. The moles of permanganate cancel out here. And you end up getting moles per liter of chloride ions. And when we plug that in the calculator, it will give us 0 0.901 moles per liter of chloride, chloride ions, which is the initial concentration of the original solution of chloride.